We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the, the Melampus Harpoon EFS RTA by Gus. Uh, now Gus Mod have been around almost as long as me in the vaping game and uh, it, it's been a long time since I've reviewed anything for them. I think it was a last one, I think it was a, it was a mech mod. It had a, a fuse in the top and ball bearings in the switch and and they've been around for a very, very long time. Now this is an, an RTA, it's got a polycar tank, it holds 4ml of juice, it's got the tiniest of chambers. Now I think this RTA has been around in a different style for quite some time now. I think this is the first time they've done it with a, a PMME tank, total PMME tank. You still have top fill on it and you can, the draw on this, you're looking at about a 1mm draw, taking it down to its tightest. It's, to me it feels like a 1mm, 1.1. Uh, but you can open it up and you can get a little bit more air through it, but uh, there's two tiny little air holes underneath that coil. And the deck is so, so small. It is so small. Uh, I do not think you will be throwing in big, huge, huge fuse claptons and things like that in here. But you'll see what I mean as we go along. So, once again, 150 euros, Gus Mod's website, close-ups. Now, this came in a little presentation bag. I, I got a, a pouch with it. I also got part of an authenticity card. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I really have no idea, but something went wrong somewhere. A little bag with spare o-rings and post screws and one freshly cleaned tank. Once again, it's uh, it's well presented. It's a nice little box, this. Looks good. Now, it's a 22mm RTA and total height, not including the drip tip or the 510, is about 44mm. The drip tip is, 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 they're calling it the harpoon drip tip and you can see it's quite a narrow bore in this one. Now, the finishing on this, the, the attention to detail, there's, there's little things and, and hopefully this shows up here, but uh, you can see that we've got the Gus logo here. We have like a wave coming round here. You can also see, I think that says design by Gus uh, coming round here, right on the edge there. It's engraved on there. there. There's tiny little details like this going round the whole RTA that are really nice. You can see we've got Gus on the drip tip. I mean, it is a 510 drip tip. Uh, it will come off of there and you can use your own. The only thing I will say is that this piece here is actually uh, your juice flow control. So when I spin this here, I'm actually adjusting the juice flow control down here. So you have to make sure that you've got a, a tight fit with your drip tip into this top section here. So we'll take the drip tip off, put that to one side. Uh, you can also, if we pull this uh, like that, uh, you can see that we have, where's it gone? There we go, top fill. So you can fill this tank from the top. Uh, I would advise that you close the just flow control down, take it down as far as you can, and you will see that there is round here, I'll actually I'll show you once we take the PMA, I mean ta tank off. There are actually three, there we go, three solid little markings here. So you line up your air holes with the three solid holes here and that closes everything off. Well, almost closes everything off. And uh, So yes, do that when you're filling it with juice. But back to the top cap, this is 304 stainless steel and it's really well finished. Uh, I'm not going to take that away from this at all. It's really well finished and it's very, very pretty. Down on the base, we have the name of the tank and we have that looks like a brass 510 or has it been gold plated? Uh, I think it's actually brass and it's, it's very, once again, it's very pretty. Um, there isn't a lot to hold on to here and it's very important that when you do get this, that you get it to bits and you do lubricate all these O-rings. If you don't lubricate them frequently, then you'll find the top cap can be a pain to get off and you'll find it actually, see, I can't actually adjust this just now. I have to actually put it in a mod before I can start spinning this PMME tank and that, that's a bit of a niggle for me. I just haven't got enough purchase on it at the bottom. So just put it on top of something here just now. You can see that I can now start moving this around and I can start lining up air holes and so on and I'll show you them better once we get this off because this will just pull off. I like that. 
There we go. So once again, it's a PMMA tank, uh, a polycarb tank, and you can see you've got three holes here and three holes here, Gus in the tank there and these are I'm pretty sure I've just measured them out they come out about 1.7 mil for each air hole there actually looking at the side of the deck uh, there's those three indentations that I was talking about so when you fill it up with juice you want your air holes to line up with here um, you've got the, I think if I remember right you've got three 1.7 mil air holes and two 1 mil air holes and you can independently independently select them big words today and obviously you've got the same on the other side we're going to take the, the chimney and the chamber off here but you can see that it's it's beautifully engraved I mean the finishing little touches like that they are really nice and this will just unscrew it like this and there we go now this chamber in here is oh so small I mean this is tiny and, and look at the size of this deck now remember this is a 22 millimeter rta and i'm just going to measure this deck out but i'm pretty sure that this is about 12 millimeters and actually i'm wrong that is coming out at yeah about 11 millimeters so you think of your normal a lot of the the mouth the lung tanks that are out modern tanks where they have these you know they have they still have big chambers and all the rest of it i mean this is so bloody small You can see getting a coil in here is going to be fun and you're not putting big beefy cause I've, uh, you know, I've got some one ohm fuse claptons and things like that here. I, I wouldn't even use that. I, I'm just going to use simple round wire. Just backing the screws off here. I mean, this for a lot of people that are yeah, used to mouth the lung and so on, you might not find this an issue, but um, yeah, it's you can see that it's almost staggered. You know, like we used to do with the vertical coils, you know, one post higher than the other. So it's, yeah, it might be a bit of a struggle for people that aren't used to building and stuff like this. Uh, I will also point out for well here is this is your juice flow channel here and here, and it's permanently open. So even when I get the, the chimney that I, I've lost, my chamber, and I screw this on, even when it's screwed right down tight, you know, this is still open. So once again, make sure that you line up your airflow holes to here when you're filling. If you leave this fully open and just pour juice in there, there's a chance you could get some leaking. Now I've got 27 gauge here and uh, a two mil uh, rod here, or sorry, a 2.5 mil rod here, and I'm just going to throw some wraps around here. Uh, I'm going to go for a bit of a, a space coil, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, there we go, just throwing some wraps around there, pull that back under there, and you, you'll have seen this many, many times. This, this used to be the way that we always did our coils basically, then push it down and then it'll spring out and then you know, it'll be evenly spaced. Give it a little push down there again. Uh, I'm just gonna pull that tight. Sometimes if you want, you can just make sure that everything is lined up, pull this leg and it will spin out. And that just makes sure that everything's straight and just give that a push again. And yeah, this is looking pretty healthy for me here. And there we go, that'll do me. Um, it, it's, it sits at a really funny angle. I mean, you have to be careful with this one. Um, I I was really lucky I did an unboxing for this and uh, I managed to get my first coil in no problem, which is a pure fluke. Uh, the second and third coil I put in here, because I did try other coils, uh, I, I struggled sometimes, but uh, as long as you think about it before you start, and uh, yeah, it's just... Be careful, uh, once you pulse this, um, make sure once you've pulsed it that you also put the chimney, screw the chimney right down and check it on a regulated mod and make sure that your coil is not going to be hitting off the top of the chamber. Cutting the cotton to the outside edge of the deck here, then I'm taking it up at a 45 degree angle, uh, just like this. Remember you're working with a tiny, tiny little chamber here, so you're not actually going to be using that much cotton. So hopefully you can see here that, that there is a cut out there and I'm just making sure that my cotton is, you know, my threads are going to not get caught there. So that's like that and, and hopefully you can see how this is coming straight up here. So it's going to fit inside the bell. So a quick little pulse. There we go. And then I'm going to find my, I've lost a bit. There we go. 
So then just screw this down like this, put it down all the way. Don't crank it down because if you crank it down, you assemble this, then it may be too tight. So I'm just going to back it off, make sure that everything's moving freely here. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of juice round these O-rings here uh, just to make sure that everything's going to move freely. Just give that a smear around there. I'll smear around the top here as well. Pop this on here and then just putting it down. There we go. And I want to fill this up so I want to line up my air holes with one, two, three. There we go. Can you see that it's lined up with those indents there? So none of the, there's no air getting through these air holes here. Then I can fill my tank up. Remember this is a 4ml capacity. Now I'm just putting a little bit of juice in here just to show you that, you know, once you've got a liquid in there, this, you know, the polycap, it does go clear. It goes crystal clear once you put juice inside it. But uh, I'm just going to pop my cap back on just now. And then we'll put my drip tip on. And then I'm just going to, you can do the old school tricks, you know, like you can turn the mod upside down, turn the tank upside down open up the air holes, back off the juice flow control a tiny little bit. You can do all that and that'll stop juice coming out the air holes. But I've not actually found that this is prone to leaking. It's been okay. Uh, so I'm actually just going to move this to the, the fully open just now. So I'm just spinning this round. So you can see one of the, the 1.7 air holes open. Two of them. And that's all three 1.7s open. I'm then just going to back this off a tiny little bit just to open up my juice flow control a bit. And that's me ready to go for a vape. Fully open. Uh, regarding the air holes underneath the deck, I'm pretty sure they're one mil. I'm reading back the, the website here and it does state the deck with two air holes are one millimeter below the coil. So I'm vaping this at 13.3 watts just now on a one ohm coil. 27 gauge round a 2.5 mil coiling rod and uh, all three uh, 1.7 mil air holes are open right now so this is as much air as you're going to get into this and we'll give it a go it's a it's a loose mouth to lung uh, it's a loose mouth to lung fully open uh, it's it's not a restricted direct lung in my opinion uh, just a loose mouth to lung and that um, strawberry custard is gorgeous in this I, I will say um, huge custard fan love custards uh, dessert flavours and I've tried this with my normal custards and it's not good. It, it just doesn't perform well. Um, I've got um, another, a, a, oh God, what's it called there? I can't see. Uh, I've got a tobacco up there that I've been using as well and it is superb. But this custard with the strawberry in it, I'm getting the strawberry coming through loud and proud. It's excellent. It just, for me with, and it was always the way with, mouth to lung and back in the day. Uh, custards, unless you use different materials, just weren't that great. Uh, so for me, mouth to lunging wise, um, this fruits, tobaccos and so on is <laughs> excels. I've now taken it down as tight as it will go, which is two one mil holes. Uh, so a one mil hole on either side of the AFC and it, it's for me, it's still not, it doesn't feel like a, a, a just, let's just say a 0 0.8 mil draw. It, I can still get a, still mouth to lung, but. It's not giving me the, that kind of thing. Um, I can still feel a, a little bit of openness, but it's about the one mil, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, and yes, one of my nostrils doesn't work. Right, um, I will say again, let, let's just crack on with this. Um, as far as the deck goes, getting a coil in there may take a little bit of practice. Uh, I do not think you're going to be putting fused claptons or anything like that. This is 
plain old round wire for me works the best in this device. Uh, remember that the deck is only 11 millimeters in size, the actual build deck is 11 mil. Um, you have juice flow control, you have airflow control. I had a massive downer on this tank when it arrived. I mean, I really I struggled. And those of you that saw the unboxing or have heard me talking about it in my vlogs and things like that, um, it felt very, very old school. Uh, very old school. In fact, in some respects, it's almost like an Atty from 2013-14. Uh, uh, that's how I feel about it. I can see what he's gone for is for the mouth to lung side of things is is getting as small as chamber as he can and as small a deck as possible and that is going to give you tremendous flavour and it does. Uh, I'm not going to knock it if you're a mouth to lunger and you like your fruits and your tobaccos and so on this is really really good. Um, if you're looking for restricted direct lung and you like lots of dessert flavours, then no, I wouldn't bother with this at all. Uh, you have to really, really uh, lube up those O-rings. If you don't lube up those O-rings, it's a pain in the ass to work with this thing. Uh, also, don't over tighten the, the juice flow control because it's, yeah, it's a bit of hard work. Also, getting the deck out, um, those of you that have maybe work with old GG products back in the day, you can get the deck out uh, and and leave the, the chimney in there, but it's not easy and it's a bit of faffing about, it really is. So, I do think that anybody that is coming to vaping and they've only been vaping in the past couple of years, say, and they're used to more modern tanks, um, even modern mouth to lung tanks, going to something like this, they will struggle with. I, I really do think they would struggle with it. This is something that appeals possibly to people like me uh, that uh, have vaped old mouth to lung tanks back in the day. Uh, yes, it's got, it's got, you can fill it from the top, and but it still feels like an old school kind of tank. The engraving, the look, presentation, everything is, is really, really nice. And yes, you've got that selectable airflow in the bottom. You've got these two tiny holes under the coil, but the build deck and a couple of other things just do, it feels very, very old school. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's for mouth to lung people. It's for people that really enjoy mouth to lung. And this is, very, very good at mouth to lung. Not super tight, I have to make that clear, it's not super tight, I do, it's not 0 0.8 mil draws and things like that, uh, but it's, the flavour is excellent. The flavour is excellent. Once you get that build cracked, once you get your head around getting the O-rings all juiced up and stuff like that, it's definitely, um, and it is a beautiful, beautiful tank. So, uh, Mario, thank you so, so much for sending this on. Uh, I have enjoyed using it. I didn't at first, but I am now. Uh, thank you for sending this on. It's much appreciated. I got this free to review and to show off to you guys. Uh, there are other reviews out there uh, for variations of this tank. That There's been previous very iterations, if you like, in the past. So... Um, Go and watch them if you want. I think the main difference with this one is the, the polycarb tank. Uh, but yes, go watch them. Right, I'm going to go because I'm, I'm just waffling. Thank you so, so much. Bye for now.